What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of HRT After Dark. I hope your week was fucking short. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just let me know my cue. Yeah, just stay down there. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I hope your week was swell. This week, if you thought we were done talking about the Olympics, you were wrong, we're not. And I'm not talking about it by myself either this week. I'm talking about it with you know who, Nikki B. (laughs) So last week we spoke about Ava Chris Tyson. Now, before we get into today's topic, if you didn't see last week's episode, please, please, please pause this video right here, go back, watch last week's episode with me and Nikki, and then you can come back and watch this one. Before we actually dive in, I see that a lot more of you are viewing my videos than you are subscribed. So Nikki and I, we have a lot of patience. We're gonna sit here and we're gonna wait, okay? Just you, for you to just hit that subscribe button. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button for me. Hit it right now. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Done? Did it? Good. Thank you so much. All right, Nicole. Last week, we talked about the Olympics Last Supper debacle. Since then, I think the day after we recorded or something, I'm sure everybody has seen. Amani Khalif was in the Olympics. Boxer. Hell yeah. There's a whole thing going around that uh, she is a trans woman or that she's a man. She's not. (laughs) No. Um, <laughs> and society's fucking dumb, and that's what we're here to talk about today. Okay. <laughs> if you haven't seen anything about it, I'm concerned for you. You probably live under a rock, but that's what me and Nikki are here for. Want to help me give the rundown, Nicole? So, Amani Khalif, she is a female boxer from Algeria. Basically, what ended up happening is she had a boxing match with an Italian woman, Angela Carini. Basically, what ended up happening is the match ended in about 46 seconds because <laughs> Karini, she folded. She said, no, can't do it no more. I've never been hit that hard in my life. <laughs> never been hit that hard in her life. You're a boxer. But like, but she's never been hit that hard in her life. And she was sobbing on the floor being like, oh, my God, this isn't fair. This isn't right. I'm going to put this in quotes. Allegedly, Amani Khalif has more testosterone in her body than the average woman Mm -hmm. which then led social media and just everybody to hop on the internet and just say why are we letting biological men into women's sports and it was all because a woman was beaten by another woman and she just couldn't take the punch (laughs) and like that's that like Yep, that ass. That's end of story right there. First of all, you said the match was over in 46 seconds because Angela had never been punched that hard in her life. Okay, um, you're a boxer. <laughs> if that if that was the hardest punch, like, okay, fine. But like, also, I don't know. You're a boxer and you're gonna sit there and cry because you got punched. I don't know. Did Angela know? Do you think beforehand that Amani had extra testosterone in her body? I believe so. Just because in 2023 there was a boxing competition that was held in Russia by the International Boxing Association, where they ruled Amani Khalif and also Lin Yuting as ineligible to compete because they had elevated testosterone levels. So the for the Olympics, I did read that that Amani did get disqualified for a past thing, but f- they allowed her in the Olympics because her hormone levels were at the levels of a fucking cis female who Mm -hmm. competes in the Olympics. So Mm -hmm. her levels were at a normal female level Mm -hmm. and that's why she competed. So the punch she threw (laughs) was of, (laughs) was of female hormone level. So I don't know why everyone's fucking bitching. I've seen that she has um, DSD, which could also kind of like intertwines with being intersex, but it also may not. It's just like some women Mm -hmm. may have excess testosterone. People with PCOS have Mm -hmm. excess testosterone. Me! Um, (laughs) And then men also can have excess estrogen. Mm -hmm. You can't control that. It's just like how your body developed and that it is what it is. 
But at the end of the day, Amani was born a female, raised a female. And not that it matters, but to the transphobes, I know it matters. She was raised a female, born a female, has female genitalia and female reproductive organs. Therefore, she is a cis woman. Yeah. Boom. Uh, she was born with XY chromosomes, I believe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And just higher testosterone than the average cis female. And people on the internet like Elon Musk, J.K. Rowling, Logan Paul, all of these famous people have been spreading misinformation on Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it, that she's a trans woman, but they're calling her a man. They're saying that a man was allowed to compete in women's sports in the Olympics and a man punched a woman on national television yeah. and fucking are in an uproar about it. And... I don't think it's funny because I wish it didn't happen, but I think it's funny in the sense of like, <laughs> y'all are dumb. <laughs> y'all look fucking <laughs> stupid. <laughs> the one girl you mentioned, Lin Yuting, she was disqualified as well? Mm hmm For the same reason, for just having like a yeah. higher level of testosterone. This is the problem that they give to trans people as well. Like you can't compete because you have physical advantages over <laughs> cis people, but then Okay, you're looking at cis people who have physical advantages over cis people. Like, isn't that what sports is all about? Like, if we no, took exactly. people, if we took people who were exactly the same, like, sports would be extremely fucking boring. That's what <laughs> I don't understand. Like, you know, I keep seeing people talk about Michael Phelps, mm -hmm. like, and how his wingspan is, like, fucking gigantic. And, like, he has a physical advantage over everybody. Like, he works very hard, sure, but the way he's fucking built, he has an advantage over people, yet nobody has a problem with him because he's a fucking man. Oh, yeah, because he he's a, a man. Because <laughs> he's a man. No, but like also he's like a physical anomaly. Like the fact that like, mm -hmm. his wingspan is like fucking no, it's huge. wild. And if you look at Amani Khalif, she's not like built like a man. Like I'm sorry, but she is not yeah. built like a man. She no. is womanly. Like she's I, just strong. Ugh, she's muscular, but like <laughs> as if women can ha like as if women have to be these dainty little fucking things. I think that's also a huge problem here. <laughs> like just because a woman who is competing in the Olympics, boxing, hello, have to be very strong and very muscular. Like you expect her to be this dainty little fuck. Like are you kidding me? You misogynistic piece of. I need to chill, daddy. Chill. <laughs> And then even further, you have this woman, her country, Algeria, is in Africa. She is a Muslim woman, beats her white counterpart who's from Italy. And this woman cries, oh god, I can't believe I lost. Uh, white woman tears. Mm. Mm -hmm. Which is such a weapon, by the way. And it's fucking working. It's working. It are does. You seeing, it works. Are you seeing all these people online being like... This Poor woman. Yeah, this was her dream. She was fighting for her dead father. Yep. Like, mm -hmm. you are so about women's rights and standing up for women. You have another woman right here that you are beating down who worked just as fucking hard, who probably has her own story. Like, yeah. you are beating her down. Like, are you, are we, are we okay? Are we good? <laughs> are we all right? I just want to know. <laughs> this is not the first time that, like, a woman of color has been accused of being a man because they beat their white counterparts. You know what I mean? Oof. No, yeah. These people have an idea in their head of what makes up a woman and what a woman is supposed to look like, their definition of a woman. Yes. And most of these people are transphobic. Mm -hmm. And these people will tell you what makes up a woman is her genitalia or her chromosomes. Anytime I've seen a transphobe, it's do you have a dick or do you have a vagina? You have a vagina? Yeah. Oh, you're a woman. Oh, you have a dick? You're a man. Mm -hmm. And I think it's so funny watching all of these people calling Imani a man and being like, well, like, she she has extra testosterone. And then somebody will be like, well, she has female genitalia and female reproductive organs, so therefore she's a woman. Oh, but she's got so much testosterone, it doesn't even matter. Like, and she looks like a man, therefore she's a man. And then it's like, oh, so because she looks like a man, you're saying that that's enough to declare her a man? No, exactly. It's just like these fucking idiots are just, like, focused on their own biases of what a woman should look like in their eyes. It's so rooted in misogyny. But also, like, in the United States now, we're seeing it, like, the tr the trans agenda. Like, mm -hmm. how, like, the right wing is so focused now. Like, they think trans people are fucking everywhere. They're like, we gotta save our kids! We gotta save everybody! It's like, what are mm -hmm. you talking about? Because now you're actually damaging both trans people and cis women. 
Mm -hmm. And you're claiming to be a feminist fighting for women's rights in sports and women's rights in this. It's like, no, you're not. You're not fighting for anybody. You're fighting for your own political tunnel vision view. I think the moral of the story about this whole situation is that, you know, right wing people or transphobic people, their main thing is that they fight for women's rights because trans people are invading women's spaces. Mm -hmm. And like, here you are hurting a cis woman over your transphobia and i think it goes to show that trans rights don't just affect trans people they affect everybody transphobia affects way more than just trans people and i hate that people can't grasp that people are throwing around trans as if it's a bad thing if somebody were to call me trans i'd be like okay i'm not but like go off like Mm because it's just like that's uh, even if I if I you know what I'm saying being called trans is isn't offensive like she shouldn't be offended you know what I mean trans women are absolutely beautiful and there's nothing wrong with that and there's nothing yes. wrong with being a little less feminine if she was trans and this was a trans issue th- because let's be real this is not a trans issue y'all not made it one this mm-hmm. was never a trans issue but y'all fucking made it one because you're dumb um <laughs> but even if she was a trans woman her levels were still in the female range. Mm -hmm. That's what I don't understand. And this is the thing that kind of sucks is now these fucking right wingers are claiming they're feminist by being like, we don't want to see a woman punched (laughs) by a man. And it's like, (laughs) what is happening? This is a woman. That's not happening. Yeah, that's not happening. You're not seeing that. It's more sad just because it's just you're seeing how the Internet and how the conservative brainwashing and the right wing brainwashing of young people and older people and how like this is why I fucking hate the internet it's just like there's so much discourse on each side yep you bring up brainwashing and I think that's a huge valid point these people are fucking brainwashed they call me brainwashed and you brainwashed for being an ally like I want to mention that video you shared with me what's his name Hassan Piker yeah he he did a great video on this uh, you should go watch it it'll be the link will be below whatever yada yada he talks about it a lot the amount of brainwashing that goes into transphobia is absolutely fucking wild because he goes on to say what you reach a level of transphobia where you are like paranoid that people in your life are trans and are lying to you about it and like there's people on the internet who are like looking at celebrities and dissecting their like physical attributes about themselves and like dissecting people and Mm -hmm. That level of transphobia is wild. And now you just hit the Olympics. Like, y'all really thought she was a trans woman. Like, you really thought she was a trans woman. Like, do you know how much hatred has to be within you to do that? That makes me scared. Straight up, it's it's straight up diabolical. Like, it's, it's evil. And listen, like, again, like I said before, like, it's not an insult to be called trans. But this woman, Imani Khalif, is from Algeria. It is not legal mm-hmm. to be in the LGBTQIA plus community there. You will Mm -hmm. get fined, you will be jailed, you could get killed. So for Mm -hmm. a rumor like this to be spread about her, and it's such a widespread rumor, that's life-threatening. Like you really think that Algeria would would send a trans woman for them, like for (laughs) for them to compete in the Olympics? Like, are we, are we okay? Like, come on. I haven't seen anybody say this on the internet at all. This is just my own thought, but like, Mm -hmm. do you think that she knew that Amani had like this like absolutely because and like it was on the, purpose do i think that she forfeited on purpose no mm. i think that she just got punched so fucking hard she was like, <laughs> 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 like i think she was just like stunned and wasn't prepared enough but do i think she knew about the iba's decision to mm-hmm. disqualify her yeah because she had access to testosterone levels absolutely i think she weaponized it for sure because why else would she cry like that and then claim that she was a man right and you know can we talk about how you know everyone feels so bad for her right now because she got punched by a man and she was trying to win for her dead father can we talk about how if a man was in the ring with another man or even a trans man or something like just another man and got punched really hard and started crying. Oh my god, he'd be the fucking laughing stock. <laughs> no, but that's what I, that you're so right. You're so right. And like it's like it's okay that she cried cuz she lost, but what's not okay that she cried and then blamed it on 
Imani being a man. If you've watched the video, you see Imani go up to her and try and like console her and shake her hand. And mm -hmm. Angela's just like, oh, oh, don't touch me. Mm -hmm. oh. And let it be known too, Imani was also in the 2021 did we talk about this? That she was in the 2021 leg bits and she lost? She didn't even fucking place. And people think that she's like this 100% testosterone yeah. being running around beating women down. Like, no, she lost many times before this. This was a big win for her and she won fair and fucking square. She yeah. probably worked her fucking ass off. Yeah, especially because it's four years prior. Like, so she's fucking, of course she was training and like working her out. It's just insane. Ugh. Uh, can we talk about the celebrities that are yes, that, that we tweeted can. about yes, we this can. shit? Because I think this shit is upsetting, but also really funny at the same time. Let's it's start hysterical. with fucking Logan Paul. Logan, Logan Paul's Paul. dumbass. He said, this is the purest form of evil unfolding right before your eyes. A man allowed to beat up a woman on a global stage, crushing her life stream while fighting for her deceased father. That's that basically sums it up. Yep, that that's that's enough for me. <laughs> when he found out that she wasn't a trans woman or a man, in his words, <laughs> uh, he, the man didn't even apologize. He just tweeted, "Oopsies." He goes, "Oopsies." I might be guilty of spreading misinformation along with the entirety of this app. So already, you're not taking accountability. But he continues. Although she has been previously disqualified for failing a gender test, and he put that in quotes, and has XY chromosomes, some sources say Imani Khalif was born a biological woman. And then he goes like this. This is why his apology is bullshit and it doesn't matter. He goes, I stand by my sentiment that biological men should not compete against biological women in any sport. And if you disagree, you're a sick fuck. <laughs> So, basically, he didn't apologize. <laughs> oh, God. He just brings up, again, the XY chromosomes. And again, intersex people exist. There were a few other people, too. Like, JK Rowling had a whole bunch to say. I actually didn't read hers. I forgot to look at hers. I don't want to read them, though, because they're like, ew. Bleh. She goes, what will it take to end this insanity? A female boxer left with life-altering injuries? A female boxer killed? <sighs> and then another one. Men don't belong in women's sports. I stand with Angela Crinney. Let's get it trending. Go to hell. Could any picture sum up our new men's right movement better? The smirk of a male whose nose he's protected by a misogynist sporting establishment, enjoying the distress of a woman. Oh my god. Repeat. I have to read that again because that's I'm reading it for the first time. That's <laughs> crazy. Hold on. The distress of a woman he's just punched in the head and whose life's ambitions he just shattered. <laughs> Oh my god. That's absurd because first of all, okay, first of all, Angela got in that ring knowing exactly who Amani was. First of all, it was a choice to get in that ring. Second of all, people are fucking dying! People are dying! And we are talking about two people who box, who, who wanted to box their entire lives. One of them got punched, no, okay? <laughs> and people are dying! Why do we care? Why do we care so much? That is absolutely fucking wild to me. First off, the first thing it's rooted in is transphobia. Second, it's misogynistic. It's not only just Imani being accused of being trans. They've also accused Katie Ledecky of being trans because she doesn't look like a woman. Mm -hmm. What does a woman look like to you? You're mm -hmm. a man. Don't be mad that they're bigger than you. Ding, ding, Suck ding. it up and move on. Transphobia, misogyny, Islamophobia, and racism. Mm -hmm. It's one, two, three, four. White women tears are strong. And that was exactly what happened here. Think for two seconds instead of just believing what you see in front of you. Yep. And make sure you know what you're talking about before you spew it online. Oh, I forgot to mention Trump. Trump tweeted, I'm pretty sure. He said, no. under, my, under my presidency, men will not be allowed to compete in women's sports. Like, that's how fucking wild it is. A former president or potential future president of the United fucking States was allowed to tweet something so fucking inaccurate for billions, 
billions with a B for people to look at and believe. You want to talk about fake fucking news, motherfucker? Like, are we kidding? Are we joking? No, and it, it's so, and like literally like the International Olympic Committee spoke about it and was just like, this is highly false. Mm -hmm. This is highly inappropriate. This is not true. Not a trans issue. And you have fucking Trump, who is supposed to lead us, just be completely <laughs> fucking wrong. Like, uh, that blows my fucking mind that a, a former president or potential future president of the United States is allowed to just tweet something so wrong and nobody bats an eye because of the deep-rooted transphobia in the world. Basically, at the end of the day, though, this entire story is rooted very much firstly in transphobia. Then it goes to misogyny. And then it goes to Islamophobia and racism. Bottom line is what you just said and that fucking trans rights affect a lot more people than just trans people. So next time you think you're fighting for a woman when you're against trans people, maybe think again. Yeah. Maybe think again. <laughs> Take a little <laughs> moment and critically think, y'all. Uh, Nikki, thank you for being on again. This was so much fun, even though it was really oh, angry. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, where can people follow you? People can follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Nikki Balducci. You guys can listen to my song <laughs> on Spotify. <laughs> and make sure you follow me at HRC Podcast on TikTok and Instagram. I post all the time. <laughs> Subscribe to me on here, please. I beg of you. And if really, if you haven't checked out last episode with me and Nikki, please go do so. Uh, yes, it was sir. a really fun episode to record. I'm proud of it. So please go give it a look see. Maybe give it some love. It didn't get as much attention as I wanted it to, so this is me asking nicely before I have to, have to ask in a very mean way. Subscribe to me on here, join my Discord, subscribe to my Patreon. I would really, really appreciate it if you want to support me as a creator, if you want to support the podcast, After Dark, yada yada. Patreon is the best way to do that. I would really, really appreciate it. The link is always in the description below. Uh, hang out with me and Nikki on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We stream video yeah. games together with other friends. Fireworks! <laughs> <laughs> Follow me on Twitch. I would appreciate it. And that's about it for this week. Please, please, please hit the subscribe button. I yes. love you so much. Nikki, thank you. I love you. I will see I you guys next too. week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>